Just your initial reaction to the rankings last night? No reaction. Yeah. We didn't get a trophy for week 11. Did you? Did any teammates express any disappointment, shock to you at all? Or? We're not really. We still have to just handle business this weekend and I mean, all that stuff will sort itself out. What makes McCaffrey such a, a good kick returner? Uh, he breaks a lot of tackles. I think uh, what makes him a good kick returner and a great running back is he has great vision, he's patient, and uh, you know, he's explosive and he you know, sees the hole and he hits it. When you kind of evaluated Stanford, how important is the field position he's given them to their offense? I mean, it's huge. Anytime you win field position, you put yourself in a good position. So he's been very instrumental in that for them all year and uh, you know, has, has definitely helped out the offense and the defense. Yesterday, Coach Kelly talked about the third level of the defense being a concern for a good part of this year. How does the third level get through that and work through, you know, having where you have to be this week? I mean, it's just the focus each time we play, taking care of your responsibility and doing your job each time we play, communicating. How have Devin and the two Knicks done in uh, filming in for Kavari here? They've done a really good job. Uh, you know, they've met, I know they've met a whole bunch extra, uh, and are, but all three of them are, are very, very focused, and you know, they're pushing each other, which I think is a really good thing. Uh, so there's that competition there between the three of them. You know, Devin got some play last year when Cody was out, and I think he started against Stanford last year, if I remember. And, what sort of things can he take from you know last season and kind of apply them to now this game? It's just uh, you know an understanding and you know a confidence in his ability and knowing that he's been in the game before and been in big games before and uh, just to, you know know that and play play to his best ability. Freshman like Nick Coleman, what sort of advice can you give him going into this game? Just take it one step at a time. You know, it's just a, it's another game. It's another chance to get better and uh, you know not make the game bigger than it is. Mm -hmm. Is it easier, you know, in 2012 you guys needed a couple of really big upsets to get the championship game. There's a lot of games you played left. Is it easier to have that attitude of, you know, let's just win and see what happens? Well, I mean, that's the attitude you have to have because you can only control it. You can control everything else that's going to, you know, happen the way it's going to happen. and You can't stress yourself out or worry about things that you have no control of. Hey, as a captain, do you spend a whole lot of time with the new corners this week, or do you leave that to Coach Light? No, I think I think a big thing for the, the young corners is just to not have too many voices in their head. You know, I encourage them. I think everyone's done a great job encouraging them, but to let them focus, let them, uh, you know, be about their business and not you know give them all this because they're getting coaching, they're you know pushing each other. So to let them you know go through that, but just know that we're here and we're encouraging you. How has Stanford evolved into a rival? You know, with you guys, you guys have played some pretty good games with them over the past couple of years, and you know you recruit from the same talent base. That's a, you know, how has that worked into that kind of rivalry? I don't really know. They've always been a rivalry, I guess. I, since I've been here, I don't remember them not being one. Um, they're a great opponent. We play them every year, so I guess that's part of it.